Um, if you understand what I mean. So, here we have a religious institution that we call the church, we call Christianity, that has a lot of skeletons in its closet. Um, one is genocide. I mean, the most horrific thing you could ever do is genocide to a group of people. And we all could probably agree that God would hate genocide, um, right. killing a group of people. And our Christian nation has genocide in its, you know, in its closet. <laughs> Um, that was committed against Native Americans, not just genocide, but then it has slavery, um, hundreds of years of slavery to um, uh, African Americans or people brought over from Africa, and then even, you know, another hundred years of oppression during the Civil Rights era where um, equality wasn't granted, and none of this stuff really gets taught. But then people will say to you, you know, stand up for the flag, this is a Christian nation, all these things, and just forget about all the horrors that happened in our past. You know, Christopher Columbus um, didn't find America, he stole it from people, and he was a murderer, and he shouldn't be celebrated, yet they still teach history that celebrates him. Um, and in the Christian faith, still to this day, Christians believe that God sent Christopher Columbus over here to bring the gospel. Um, and that is completely false. And as you know, followers of Jesus, one thing that I think most people would say is that Jesus was about the truth, not about lies. And so we have a religion that's completely, that has a large portion of its foundation built upon lies that aren't true. Um, you know, and that's the Christian religion.